Hey, welcome back. Today I want to show you how to make a custom title block in Onshape. Things like adding a logo, adjusting dimension color, center line, hidden line colors, things like that. Uh, so that it become a title block that you can use and import for any drawing that you may create. All right. So to start, I'm just in an untitled document. I'm going to go ahead and create a drawing. I just like to start a regular old Onshape uh, title block. That's the size I want it to be. I click OK. It thinks about it. And now the reason why I like to use one that's already made by Onshape is that I can just manipulate and change things here that I want or do not want, right? So if I just start highlighting things and deleting things I don't want in my uh, final title block, it's great. It's already got some of these default settings here or default uh, fields, text fields that pull from information in my drawing. And let me show you now how to add a icon or image that you want. So if we're up top here, we have insert image. Go ahead down here to import. I just go ahead and pick one that I want. Like I think I've been using this one here. It imports it in. Now it's an image that I can click and drag. Now I can resize this and put this where I want in my title block, deleting and manipulating things. And just like a professional cooking show, I already have one done and completed with some of the stuff I want, right? So a lot of these text fields, remember, they will pull from information from your part studio and things that you've drawn over here, like the materials that you've used and things like that. But also down on your drawing sheet, there's also drawing settings, right? So if you actually, if I double click on one of these, you'll see two options here. Insert drawing property, insert sheet reference property. All that information is being pulled from, right click, properties, uh, here, right? So description, part number, revision, right? These are all down here. Uh, your titles that they have, one, two, three. Say it's like your assembly sheets or your part sheets of your actual drawing. Uh, who's it drawn by? Who's approving? The date, revisions. Those type of information is found there. Well, a lot of the other information would be over here, right? Right click, properties. Same idea, your part uh, titles here as well and any information you may have down there. Like if I go to this one, my initial design here, you'll see that I set my material as ABS and it will pull up and show over here material and calculates the weight off of that. All right, but how did I change these things, these settings? Those are over here, right? I'm still in my drawing sheet over here under these settings here. So we have our units our sizes that we want. But also when I go into dimensions, I can go ahead and change my colors for things like my different views, my center marks, my views here, hidden lines, I want an orange, my section views, I want blue. Everything you want to mess around with is all up here under the drawings property tab. And all those will be saved once you do this final step here. So once I have everything set the way I want and all the information the way I want it to be. I go down here to right click export. I'm going to export it as a DWT, a template file. Okay. So now if I export this, which I already have, so I'm not going to do it again, but you go ahead and export that then go back to your home uh, screen here for Onshape. And then under create, you have import files. You now import your a DWT, it'll now become an option for you to open. So if you imported that DWT in your home thing, that now will be created by me, uh, the DWT files right there, right? So you export and then you go to your home screen of Onshape and you import that DWT file and then it will always be available to you and will always be, you know, the drawing sheet you can use anytime you want. All right. That's it. Quick and dirty. Good luck. Have fun.